Hey everyone, George here, the Disney Family Man, coming to you with another video. Hey everyone, what's going on? Today I thought I'd extend uh, the topic about the Disney Cruise Line, because on April 29th, which was yesterday during the time of this filming of this video, that Disney had released a massive slew of information about their fifth cruise ship, the Disney Wish, which I am very excited to talk about and excited to eventually experience it for myself. And I'm not going to get into much with um, what's involved in with the ship itself. Um, I had already done that on a previous video. I will uh, link it to the end of this video. I had a beautiful, wonderful conversation with my good dear friend, uh, Mindy, uh, who is also part of the Grand Circle Tour podcast, along with myself and my other co-hosts, of course. And we just had a, a nice conversation about all the the um, things that are going to be part of this new ship. And um, if you want to check that out, it will be at the end of this video. But today, I thought I'd uh, talk about um, an extension part of that, is when will um, you be able to book uh, a cruise on the Wish? Well, as they released uh, during the presentation of the Once Upon... A Disney Wish, which was the name of the presentation that Disney had released um, live on the Disney Parks blog, that they had said at the very beginning of the presentation and at the very end that bookings start on May 27th. And, you know, and that's just the, all the information they got. Well, sooner or later, they, you know, a lot of people think, well, if you're platinum or gold or silver, in the Castaway Club, you know, you can book, you know, earlier than that. And of how it goes is with the, the, the platinum, the gold, and the silver, depending on how many times you have cruised with the Disney Cruise Line, puts you in the status of, you know, where you stand. And with silver, you automatically become silver once you finish your first Disney Cruise. You're automatically in the silver for your next cruise, which would be your, your second. You become gold once you complete five Disney cruises, and then 10 plus cruises, you are considered platinum. So all that they had released during that time was May 27th is when you could book. Then Disney had released the time frames as they broke it down, but this time it's a little bit different. And I'm going to bring it up on the screen right now so you can see. And as you can see with this screen... Um, the screenshot that I have, they had really broken it down like bit by bit. And normally with the, the Platinum, you usually have just a one set date when you could start with Platinum and then it moves to gold and then silver and then everybody um, can book. But with the Wish, they had broken it down into sections. So if you are a Platinum Castaway Club member, that you have done 25 plus sailings, you can book as early as May 17th. And then the second one, the Platinum Castaway Club that you sail 20 plus, you can book May 18th. Platinum 15 plus cruises, you could book May 19th. And then all Platinum Castaway Club members, you could book May 20th. And then here's the interesting part as well with this that normally the day after Platinum, Gold can start booking for their sailings for any uh, Disney cruise that they want to uh, sail on, but they have a four-day gap between all platinum and when gold can start. So, and right now, gold is where I am at, so I have to wait four days after all of platinum can start booking and then have a four-day window for that as well. So hopefully... Um, that will work out because I'm aiming for the um, the very first uh, cruise out on the Wish, which is the Maiden Voyage. I'm going to try to shoot for it, which is June 9th through June 14th of 2022 because that's when the cruises um, for the Wish start sailing out of summer 2022. But there are many other cruises that we will try to shoot for if we can't make the Maiden Voyage, but that's my first priority. So anyway, so the Gold Castaway Club starts May 24th. Then Disney snuck this one in um, last minute. 
Disney Vacation Club members and Adventures by Disney Adventure Insiders can book May 25th. Then Silver Castaway Club members can book May 26th. And I thought that was kind of interesting that the Vacation Club members and the Adventures by Disney can book one day prior than to Silver. And then bookings open to all guests, whether it's your first cruise or what have you, on May 27th, which is the date that uh, Disney promised us during this presentation. So... Those are the dates that if you know if you are a platinum member, be sure to check where you are as far as the status goes with your platinum. Check on the Disney Cruise Line website or the app of how many cruises you have actually sold, and it will tell you. It will let you know how many cruises you have uh, sold out. Of, you know with the Disney Cruise Line because they that will depict when you could start booking for the Wish if you want to start. Uh, sailing out on the Wish in the summer of 2022 when it first set sail. Um, it doesn't have to be on the, the maiden voyage. As I said, the maiden voyage is June 9th through June 14th of 2022, but they're also sailing out through the rest of June, July, August, and there's even cruises that run into September and as early as October um, that ends that summer season. So before the fall season starts, you know, if you want that summer season of the beginning of the wish um definitely check that out now i must tell you with the wish it will be home based in port canaveral florida and it will be alongside the disney fantasy the disney fantasy will con will still continue to do the seven night voyages the wish however is going to take the place of the disney dream which its new home port will be in miami florida the Wish will take the Dream's place that will do the three to four night sailings. So if you are looking for a seven night cruise, I highly recommend still doing the Fantasy because as of right now, the Fantasy is the only one doing the seven night cruises. That may change in the future. We don't know, but as far as right as far as we know right now, the Wish is only doing three to four night cruises out of Port Canaveral, Florida. Now, when the other two new ships come after the Wish, because there are the Triton-class cruise ships. There's three, yes, there was three new Disney cruise ships that were, are in progress to being made, and the Wish is the first of the three, but there's going to be two more that are coming. So I believe they said during their, their meeting, because they are expanding Port Canaveral's um, ship base for Disney's location, at the port, and their goal is to hold three ships at a time. So that's telling me that right now the Dream is moving to Miami. Uh, the Fantasy and the Wish are home based in Port Canaveral for right now, but with two more ships on the way, that would leave four. So if they're only going to be holding three, where is the fourth one going? Is one of the new ones going? to move to another port. Is the Wish going to move to another port? Or is the Fantasy going to move to the other port, uh, to another port? So it just depends on what Disney wants to do when that time comes. Um, up until the third and final ship in this Triton class is completed, I'm assuming that the Fantasy, the Wish, and the second new one made will be home to uh, in Port Canaveral, Florida. Now, when the third new ship comes along, will that go somewhere else, or if that gets moved into Port Canaveral, will that move the Fantasy Yacht or the Wish or the second? We really don't know at this point. So, uh, to to cover your bases, if you've never been on the Fantasy, which I have not yet, um, which I do want to in the near future, it's the only uh, Disney cruise ship I haven't been on, minus the Wish, of course, that... You know, or if you want to do a seven night, go on the Fantasy. It's still uh, in Port Canaveral, Florida, as its home port as of right now. The Wish will be in Port Canaveral, Florida, for only three to four night sailings. If you want to go on the Dream, it will be in the home port of Miami, Florida. So, and then as I said before, when the two, the other two new ships after the Wish come along, it's very hard to say right now which ones will stay in Port Canaveral, Florida and which ones will go, but in the end, there will be three Disney cruise ships that will be in home port at Port Canaveral.
Um, they may switch it up at times. It's very hard to say. But as of right now, that's all the information that I have for you. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys in close contact as I get the information coming at me. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informational. And please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe, stay Disney. Bye, everybody.